Howdy you guys. Hi, how have you been? I've been absent. I apologize. You know, life and stuff. What do I want to talk to you guys today? No. Stop. Cut. Don't. Let's do it again. Hi everybody. Hey, how are you? Hey everybody. How are you? Um, yeah, I've been absent for a while. Sorry about that. But what I want to talk to you about today is the new diet drug that got approved of June 4th-ish. It is semeclitude. It's a type 2 diabetes drug and it's now approved for weight loss. And the researchers who did the studies are pretty hype on it. So we're going to talk about it. But first, like, subscribe, do all the youtube -y stuff down there. Like hit the like button and then subscribe to my channel because it helps the whole getting people to watch my channel thing and I would appreciate it. So first, first things first, I'm the realist. Um, let's talk about the fact that from my highest weight in the summer of 2011, right before I got pregnant with my son, my highest weight of 364 pounds, as of today I've lost 70 pounds. Woo, let's flash a big 70 on the screen because that's amazing. Part of it is low carb dieting. It's been a roller coaster, I'm not gonna lie. Um, part of it is low carb dieting. Part of it is I've been sick a couple times over the past few years and I've dropped a significant amount of weight and just haven't put it back on. Um, it's not all blood, sweat, and tears of sustained weight loss, but it is 70 pounds. Now I've lost 60, 70 pounds, lost it, put it back on, lost it, put it back on. But this is my longest sustained weight loss of that magnitude so I'm pretty excited about it. I posted about it on Instagram the other day so you know follow me on Instagram too and uh yeah so I'm pretty jazzed about it but I'm also jazzed about this new drug um again it was Ozempic and Rebelsis the brand names but now I believe they're calling it Wagovi. It's a once a week injection um, but it's not insulin. It's been used for type 2 diabetes for some kind, for some time, for some kind, for some time. And um, they're pretty excited. Novo Nordisk, is that who the company is? Yeah, they're pretty excited about the results they've had. The literature for Ozempic always said that if you weighed around like 197 pounds, you could expect to lose about 12 pounds because it works as an appetite suppressant that keeps you from digesting your food as quickly and therefore keeps you full longer. And it also has heart protective properties and kidney protective properties to help people who are obese or have type 2 diabetes avoid those common health problems that that come along with obesity and diabetes. So I'm pretty excited about this for people because while 12 pounds for someone who's around 200 doesn't seem like a big deal, if you pair that with, you know, some diet changes, I hate lifestyle. When they use lifestyle changes, like lifestyle has, is used to describe so many different things that effectively has no meaning. Like Cheetos are not my lifestyle. <laughs> Cheetos just happened into the picture every once in a while. But um, with some eating habit changes, you know, that 12 pounds could be compounded. My friend Courtney's dad is doing Ozempic for type 2 diabetes and he has had significant success suppressing his appetite, especially when they um, upped his dose a little bit and he's only able to eat about half of what he used to eat. So what do you guys think? Have you tried this? Have you done Ozempic for either type 2 diabetes or weight loss? The semeglitude drug comes under several different brand names. So, you know, if you've tried any of those, let me know. I have a doctor's appointment with a new primary care doctor toward the end of uh, July. And so I may bring this up with her. So what do you think? Leave me comments. Um, as for diet, what we're doing, our latest jam is the carbohydrate addicts diet, kicking it 90s style. Oh yeah. We're eating three meals a day, two of which are low carb and include a salad beforehand. Um, you don't have to eat a salad with your breakfast. Just eat some avocado. Put some green stuff in your omelet, but low carb. Moderate what you eat throughout the day, no snacks in between meals, but you can have what you want as long as you eat it within an hour for dinner. 
or whenever. You can have your reward meal whenever, but I've found it harder to do it at breakfast. And then you um, eat it within an hour and that's it. You can have what you want for dinner. It's your reward meal and voila, carbohydrate addicts diet. So um, if you want to if you want to come along on the Carbohydrate Addicts journey with me, I will link the book in the description, link you to Drs. Heller, their website, so you can get more information. They're adorable. They call carbs carbos because they're of a different low-carb era. But yeah, um, do it with me. And next time we're going to talk about apple... F oh my goodness. My child is upstairs making a racket. Hopefully my husband... It's 114. I bet she wants lunch. It's 1.14. Um, this is my Apple Watch that I got a couple months ago. I'm going to talk to you next time about Apple Fitness Plus for larger people and if it's better than the Peloton app. <laughs> I'll let you know and um, we'll talk about some other stuff that's been going on in my life. Don't forget to like and subscribe and come see me next time. Hit the little like reminder bell thing so you know when I've posted something new. Won't that be exciting? Hooray! I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.